What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my prediction for this year's Royal Rumble on who I think is going to be surprise entrance. Let's get right into this. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it. Up first, I have X-Pac. Uh, the reason why I think X-Pac may be a surprise entrant is because they have been teasing X-Pac for a while now with coming back and doing things with DX in different skits throughout the past year since they got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Like I just mentioned, X-Pac is inducted into the 2019 Hall of Fame as a member of D-Generation X, and he is going into the Hall of Fame this year in 2020 as a member of NWO. So he's going to be a two-time Hall of Famer in two consecutive years, which is the first person to ever do so. Which, honestly, I wasn't feeling like NWO was going to go in this year. But I'm glad they are. And I'm glad X-Pac is getting another option and another opportunity at the Hall of Fame. So with that being said, because he's going to be a two-time Hall of Famer, I expect him to be in the Royal Rumble. And I think that would be incredible if he were to be. Next up is going to be the Hurricane. As you guys have seen over the past year, the Hurricane was in the past Royal Rumble. I believe he was in the Greatest Royal Rumble. I can't remember 100% on that one. I might be wrong. But he has had a lot of work with the WWE. Of course, he is a WWE legend in my opinion. He has worked as a producer for WWE backstage. And he has helped out with the WWE Performance Center, helping out a lot of the young guys. So he is doing work with WWE. He clearly has some kind of backstage role and some kind of backstage um, contract within WWE. And he still is working the indie scene, which is awesome to see him still in the ring. So I wouldn't be surprised if he will be making a return to this year's Royal Rumble. I'm hopefully counting on it because he does great work in the ring. I really wish he would not only return to WWE, at least for maybe the Cruiserweight division, or to do something or have in some kind of rivalry, but I feel like in the future he definitely will be going in the Hall of Fame, but I hope to see a return before that. Next up is one that a lot of people are very doubtful, and myself included, but I felt to include him on this list, and that is CM Punk. The reason why I want to do that and include him on my list for a surprise entrance for this year's Royal Rumble is clearly and simply... He recently had talks with WWE, as we've mentioned, he talked about his, he's open to returning to the WWE as long as the money is right and the timing is right. WWE said the same thing, as long as the timing and the money is right, that's when they will try to bring him back in the ring. He currently works for Fox with WWE wrestlers and superstars. He is not signed with WWE, he is signed to Fox, but he does work and talk about WWE now with WWE superstars, so I think that's incredible. And I feel like having him return to the Royal Rumble does not mean a possibility for a return in the future. And it does not mean we should expect to see him in the future. But if he was a surprise entrant, to me, that'd be one hell of a surprise having CM Punk back in the ring for a Royal Rumble. But that does not mean that we are going to see him in the future. And he could just say, it's the Royal Rumble. It's a one and done. I'm not coming back. And then months later, or a couple of years from now, whenever they decide to bring him back when the timing is right and the money is right for him, they will do so. But I think a surprise Royal Rumble entry would be amazing to see because there's no obligation that he is returning to the ring full time. And that's something that is going to tease the fans incredibly if WWE were to do so. Next up is going to be Edge. The only reason why I want to put him on this list is, is because earlier in 2019, he was cleared to compete, which I felt was odd that WWE would now compete, uh, would now clear him because... He did have his injury, which forced him to retire this many years later to bring him back. It's kind of odd if they were to clear him. Why clear him if they don't have plans to bring him back in the ring? I feel like there might be a Royal Rumble opportunity in the future. And I feel like that would be a great way to bring him back. And again, there'd be no obligation to have him come back. And there would be speculation that he will return to the ring full time, or at least for certain matches. But there's no obligation in just returning to the Royal Rumble doesn't mean that's going to happen, but it's definitely going to tease the fans. If it were to happen, I feel like having a uh, WrestleMania match would be awesome. There's a couple opponents that I'd like to see him face. Seth Rollins and AJ Styles. I think those would be two great people to have Edge face at WrestleMania. Or just to face in a match whenever it's time for him to come back. But I feel like WWE, to have them clear Edge 
they wouldn't clear him unless they had plans to bring him back. And we've seen people that retired a long time ago come back. For example, Shawn Michaels retired years ago and said he's not coming back. And whenever the opportunity came, the timing was right, the money was there, that's when he came back. I feel like they're going to do something like that with Edge, which again, I'm a huge fan of Edge. I think that's awesome, but I hope they don't keep to do that with other wrestlers that retired in the past, unless everything adds up and everything is right for them to return. Next up is John Cena. John Cena recently announced that he wants to return to WWE. He wants to return to wrestling, but he is busy with making movies. A great way to have him return to wrestling without having him need to return to a full-time basis and schedule is to have him compete in the Royal Rumble. The last time we seen John Cena was last year's WrestleMania, where he came out as heel. He came out as John Cena Word Life version, which is awesome. He raps to Elias and basically did one of his rap slash diss tracks or rap battles, if you will, uh, to Elias. And he basically said that he's heel now, which was awesome. And then he attacked Elias, which I felt was great. But after that, he didn't do anything else in the ring. So I'm hoping whenever John Cena does return, he does it with the Word Life gimmick, which he brought back at WrestleMania, instead of just totally washing over that and coming back as the John Cena, which the fans actually love, which is C-Nation Cena. I feel like Word Life Cena would be a lot better. Having him heal, having him come back and be heal, I feel like that's going to add addition to his already long career and what he's capable of in the ring. That's going to add so much more respect to a lot of the people that are now my age that watched Cena whenever they were younger. To have him finally come back to be a heel, I think that'd be amazing. And again, having him compete in the Royal Rumble does not mean he's going to come back full time. But it means that we've seen John Cena once again. And he stayed true to his word of always wanting to come back and always make an appearance at events. And trying to be there for the WWE Universe. Being there in the Royal Rumble means he is coming back at some point in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's small roles or small matches like this and like Undertaker does where it's different matches throughout the year, having Cena be there, I think that'd be awesome. And the last person on my list, which might be a long shot, is Mark Henry. We've seen him go into the Hall of Fame a couple years back. I feel like he is amazing in the ring and he definitely would make an interesting surprise entrant based on the fact of he is huge. I feel like if he were to return, he hasn't technically had a retirement match and hasn't technically retired in the ring, at least to my knowledge. So to have him come back in the Royal Rumble after he went into the Hall of Fame and that be his first match back doesn't mean he will have matches for the WWE in the future because it's just a surprise entry in the Royal Rumble. But it definitely would be awesome to see everybody that is currently in the Royal Rumble trying to work together to topple him over the ropes. I feel like that'd be something to see because everybody basically tries to take out the biggest man and to be Mark Henry in the ring, he'd be the biggest man. Everybody would be trying to toss, topple him over. So I think that'd be awesome to have them do. But these are my picks for the surprise entrance for this year's Royal Rumble. I hope to see most of them happen. I know uh, WWE doesn't have that many surprise entrants anymore. Usually it has people like um the boogeyman or a couple other people that are smaller that people wouldn't really think of having a surprise entry but that's what makes the royal rumble so awesome for me is the surprise entries you never know who it's going to be you never know what's going to happen you never know if they're going to get eliminated early which happens sometimes or if they're going to cause a bunch of chaos in the ring or if that's going to be a future return for that superstar to actual WWE programming because just because they return to the Royal Rumble does not mean they're going to return to the WWE full time and to start having more matches. A surprise entry just might be a surprise entry at Royal Rumble, but there's always that option whenever we see somebody amazing come back for the Royal Rumble and be a surprise entrant. There's always hope that they're going to return full time. There's always speculation on that. So I'm really excited for this year's Royal Rumble. As you guys can see, comment down below who you feel is going to be a surprise entry this year. I feel like some of the members of NWO might and some other mem members of DX from last year might. I feel like if they had Triple H and Shawn Michaels or possibly Road Dogg and then they had X-Pac, um, Scott Hall and Kevin Natch in the ring, basically DX versus NWO in during the Royal Rumble, I feel like that'd be awesome. But that's just me, so comment down below what you would like to see this year in the Royal Rumble. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.